Hey, Buff Nation voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson here. Practice number one for the Buffaloes. we got to talk to this guy, the linebacker for the Buffaloes. He's on every preseason watch list there is out there. Coming back from the injury, Nate Lamman. How you feeling first off? Doing great, man. Uh, you know, it was a tough eight months, but I'm back and had a first, first practice today. It felt great and um, coming off a great summer. And yeah, I just feel great. To talk a little bit about the, the struggles and kind of overcoming. That's a serious injury when you blow your Achilles like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, the first couple months were the hardest, for sure. Coming out of surgery, um, being immobile for a couple of weeks, can't drive, um, you know, de depending on a lot of people. Um, and that's more of like a mental thing you got to get through. And then once you get through those couple months, um, rehab starts to pick up and you start reaching those goals, those milestones, and uh, it gets better for sure. Yeah, I've talked to guys over the years that have had injuries like that, and then they say, coming back in the backside, yeah, you deal with the physical, but they feel like they're stronger mentally when they come back because of the adversity they've had to over overcome. For sure. And, and, you know, the big thing for me is taking away from being injured was my love for football. Uh, you know, having it taken away from me in that moment, not knowing whether I'd play again, um, you know, told a good chance I was going to play again. But having it taken away from me definitely solidified what the importance for me of football was. Yeah. You know, when you tell a guy my age, you look like you put weight on, it's a bad thing. When I say it to you guys, it's a good thing. You look thicker this year. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, new, new strength program, um, you know, getting a little older. So, you know, it's all, it's all coming in. But, yeah, feel, feeling better, feeling bigger. Uh, just ready to get out there. Yeah, what has Shannon Turley meant to this program and his approach and the way he handles you guys in the, in the weight room? A lot, a lot. I mean, for him to come in right away and, and you know, earn that respect on the first day um, is just, it's just something that you can see from Turley. And, um, you know, he's, he's gotten us ready. He's one of probably, this is my fifth summer here and probably one of the best summers I've had um, and that the team's had, the growth that we've had from young guys and leadership stepping up. So um, credit to him and, and his staff and what he's done for us this summer. So in your final year, you got a change of defensive coordinator, Chris Wilson. Obviously he was on the staff, but, but now he's the guy that kind of call on the plays if you will on the defensive side. He brings a little bit of an attitude, doesn't he? Oh, it brings attitude, brings energy. Um, you know, he's, he, if he's got something to tell you, he's going to tell you. Um, but I think that's the quality of a great coach, um, you know, always, always chirping, always helping you out, always um, being on your side, too. You know, he's not against anybody, wants everybody to succeed and everybody to play. And um, I think he's just a great, you know, balance between a player's coach and, you know, a coach's coach. I think after 2020 and the shortened year it was on again, off again, everyone's kind of wondering about th this Buffs team because we really haven't seen him for a full schedule for over a year. You tell Buff Nation out there why you like this defensive unit and the group of guys you're playing with. I love this defensive unit just because of the leadership we have. You know, we have we have seniors in places that we need seniors in places, and we have young guys who you know have that ability to be, you know, the best in the conference. And um, I think I think we have a lot of potential this year, and um, we have the perfect combination of leadership and players and depth and coaches to, you know, really do something this year. And I think Buff Nation should be really excited. Well, it's uh, it seems right that number 53 is back there in the middle for the Buffaloes this year. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Nate Lambin. He and the Buffs will open up the season after practice number one, but they open the campaign up September 3rd against Northern Colorado.